What's going on YouTube? Nasty Bird today and we're here to talk about the next big boxing match that's happened this weekend or not the weekend Friday against Jake Paul and Vladimir Klitschko's fucking spawn of a child aka Riley Borland This is the fight right here this Friday and today we're gonna break down our picks I hope you guys like the new little studio we got going on blackout curtains. You can't really see anything I feel like it looks professional. So when I could throw shit up right here there's like a canvas for it, man. That's what I'm saying. But with that being said, we're going to get some picks. We're going to get the fight breakdown. We're going to see what the hell is going to happen during this fight. Is Jake Paul going to come out with the jab? Or is he going to get knocked out? I don't know. We're going to break it down here right now for you guys. So Ryan Borland is a Golden Gloves champion with one loss on his record. He might be a little bit older, but this is the fight that Jake Paul needs, man. I've been saying it. I've been saying it. He needs to build his 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 credibility. People say he can't be an uh, actual boxer. He beat on your August with a fucking perfect uh, uppercut. Bro, sat that down with the jab, put it up with the uppercut. That's what I'm saying, man. That is what I'm saying. Jake Paul's about to annihilate this guy. He looks a little older, you know. He looks like more of a of a sit in the pocket trade type of fighter. He's gonna go and Jake and with a little lack of defense, he doesn't really move his head. You know, I put some I put some uh, some clips of him. The problem with Ryan Borland is he's not moving his head. He's older and he showed a lack of defense. And Jake Paul, you know, he is a heavier guy. Ryan Borland is coming up. Should be coming up, make it uh, even playing field. He has some years of experience compared to Jake Paul's, you know, not having that many years compared to uh, Ryan Boyle. Ryan Boyle's been doing this in the amateurs. He has amateur, an amateur pedigree. Has a bunch of these things. So this is what I'm saying. This is where Jake Paul can take advantage. He's a very stick to your head uh, boxer. Push my head in your chest. Not really showing a lot of head slipping. Not really showing about awareness of where punches are coming. So what I think is going to happen is this. Is he, I, I think he's going to be entertaining. If I don't think he gets him out in the first round, I think, I'll call like a third, fourth round finish. I think Jake Paul is going to sneak in, my, might sneak in. I don't think he's going to sneak in overhand right. It might be a hook. I'm calling a, I'm going to call my shot. I'm going to call in a, sho a shovel hook. Shovel right hook. Fuck. Mm. I'm gonna call it in right there. I think he's gonna he's gonna KO him. I do think he's gonna be a knockout in the fourth round, but I think this is gonna build experience for Jake Paul. With Jake Paul, we just need to get him in camp. We just need to get him in more camps with more experience, so he's able to you know have you know that time under his belt, that ring time. I, again, by by Jake Paul doing this, he is widening the gap against KSI. KSI is fighting Wayne Rooney, a soccer player? Nah, we don't want to see that. We want to see actual good high-level fights. And Jake Paul is delivering that. Again, who I want, this undercard is already made, but I want them to sign. If I had to make a, D, a, a fan prediction, a fan a fan of signing, I like to say sign Dean the Great, man. I don't want to see Dean the Great there. Dean the Great is going to do this fucking tournament thing, but I want to see him fighting Jose Aldo or someone of that caliber. I think he really deserves it. I think he really, you know, been putting that time and effort in the gym. But with that being said, guys, I'm calling right now. Fourth round knockout, the shot, shovel hook, and I think that is going to be lights out for Ryan Borland. And then after this, we're going to see another high profile, high level pointer for Jake Paul. But with that being said, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!